Hey you guys and welcome back to Foundation February. For the entire month of February I will be posting only foundation videos and today is I believe the second video of this series. I am going to be doing a first impressions review and wear test on the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation. I didn't look into this foundation at all. I just knew it was new and I wanted to try it out. I have had pretty good luck with L'Oreal foundations in the past. I've enjoyed their Pro Glow foundation. I like their Pro Matte not so much lately, but I did like it in the past. I also like their BB cream and their Infallible Pro Coverage foundation. So I've had pretty decent luck with L'Oreal face products. So I was really excited when they launched this. It is around 8.30 in the morning right now. I didn't have work today. I kind of slept in. I wanted to wake up earlier because I have a bunch of stuff to do today, but um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy Foundation February. If there are any foundations you would like to see me review, do a wear test on or first impressions on throughout this month, please let me know and let's just go ahead and get started. I kind of have a busier day today. I have a bunch of videos I need to film and I'm going to be going to pick something up at like a pure later um, office and I also am going snowshoeing. Oh, I gotta do laundry too. I'm going to be priming my face with the Rimmel Insta Fix and Go Primer Spray. I usually prime my face with this spray. I feel like it's just reliable for me. This foundation claims to have breathable, buildable coverage, up to 24 hour fresh complexion, and that's pretty much all the claims on this foundation. I have the shade 455. I don't know if this is gonna be a good match for me. If not, I can just like zip this sweater up. This sweater is so comfy by the way. So I wanna, oh, it came out really fast and it's also very liquidy. I am gonna be using a brush today to apply this. I'm gonna use my Eco Tools. It's called their Complexion Buffing Brush. Whenever I'm using like a more liquidy foundation, I like to go for a flat topped brush like this. And this one's my personal favorite flat top foundation brush. So I'm gonna be using this today. I'm also gonna zoom you up. I don't wanna use a sponge with this foundation. I feel like it just gets soaked up because it's so watery. I did about one and a half pumps on the back of my hand. Probably need more for the left side of my face. Kind of smells shampoo-ish. Like it smells like shampoo. I think the color match is actually pretty good. Hopefully it doesn't like turn really orangey or pinky on me. So I will be able to do midday check-ins today. I'll try and do at least one midday check-in. I'll also do a check-in at the end of the day to show you guys how it wore. Also, this looks really nice. I really like the way that just blended out. It blended out so easily, effortlessly, basically, at least with this brush it did. And it's given my face a really pretty glow. I also think the coverage is pretty good, but look how like dewy my skin looks right now. Also, I didn't get like any of the mascara off my lower lashes. I do mostly like to use a sponge when I'm wearing foundation, but like I said, for liquidy foundations, I feel like they just apply better with a brush. Ooh, I really like this. This is looking really, really nice on my skin. I am gonna do like half a pump more because I didn't really have enough for this side on my face. I don't even think I need to go in with like a second layer or anything. I feel like that had such great coverage, except now that I put too much foundation onto the back of my hand. I haven't watched any reviews on this foundation yet. I want it to not be swayed by anybody else's opinions. I just wanted to make my own because this is a first impressions and I didn't want to come in with a bias. I really like it. I do have normal skin. I don't get super oily. I don't have super dry skin. I'm just kind of right in the middle. I do get oily in my t-zone area by the end of the day. I feel like it's a normal combination. So I'm just using whatever was left because I squirted out too much. I'm just gonna apply it on areas where I feel like I could up the coverage a bit. So around my mouth and just on some problem spots. This color is also a really great match for me. Sometimes L'Oreal foundations can get very orange on my skin. Like by the end of the day, I have noticed that about their colors. Their shades for some reason, like they match, but then by the end of the day, they were like oxidized to super orange, but hopefully this one does not. So that's what the foundation is looking like right now. I like it. I think this looks really nice on my skin. 
It looks very natural. It looks very fresh. I don't know how it's showing up on camera, but in real life, it looks quite fresh. It has really good coverage for a fresher foundation formula. My skin is still showing through, even though it had good coverage. It's reminding me a lot of the Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation that I really like. That's one of my favorite foundations. This is kind of reminding me of that. Like my skin looks very similar to what it would look like with that foundation on. I have super high hopes for this foundation. If it wears as nicely throughout the day as it claims, like 24 hours, I will be very impressed. And this could end up being one of my favorite foundations. It feels lightweight on my skin. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything. It has kind of dried down a bit, but it still feels very fresh and lightweight on my skin. I'm going to apply the rest of my makeup, then I will come back in, show you guys the finished product. I will see you in a little bit. Okay, so this is the completed look. I decided to keep things very, very natural and effortless today. I just popped on a little bit of under eye concealer, just like directly under my eyes. I didn't do the full triangle. I just did it right under my eyes a little bit around my nose and then chin and a little bit on my forehead and I use the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Liquid Concealer for that. I set my under eyes and T-zone area with, of course, my Milani Prep Set and Glow Powder. For the rest of my face, I dusted the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder very lightly. I didn't need to apply a lot because the foundation had actually set, but that's kind of the entire base. I did not use a setting spray. For bronzer, I applied the e.l.f. Primer infused bronzer in the shade Perpetually Tanned. I also popped on the Essence Silky Touch Blush in the shade Baby Doll. I don't know if Essence still makes this. I hope they do because it's such a pretty, pretty natural, glowy blush. I also popped on highlighter for like the first time in forever. I like never wear highlighter anymore, but I wanted this to be even dewier than it was looking without it, so I popped on the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. And that's pretty much it. My lipstick is the Maybelline. Chocolate Lust Shine Compulsion Lipstick. I'll give you guys a close-up so you can see what the makeup looks like now that everything's applied. I think it looks really good. Reminding me so much of the Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation. It feels the same and it looks the same on my skin. I like the fact that it looks natural, that my freckles are still showing through, that like little imperfections and stuff are still showing through. Everything blended nicely on top of this foundation. I like it a lot more than that Revlon foundation that I tried in my previous video. By the way, it's currently 8.54 in the morning. I finished the foundation portion around 8.45, but I think I'll just call the check-in time nine. I'm going to continue on about my day. Like I said, I need to go pick something up from the post office. I need to do my laundry and I need to film about like two more videos today and then I'm going to go snowshoeing. So I will check back in with you guys later. Thank you for watching and let's keep our fingers crossed. This foundation looks good throughout the day. Okay, see you guys later. Hey you guys, it is currently 12.56 in the afternoon. This foundation has been on my face for approximately four hours. This is what it's looking like right now. I'm standing in front of my window in my bedroom. It's all natural light. There's no lights on in my room right now. And this is what the foundation looks like. It's looking okay, I think. When I look in my mirror, I can tell that my foundation is a lot darker now. It de it's definitely oxidized. Probably about full shade darker than it was when I first applied it, which kind of sucks. I really hate foundations that oxidize. Most of them do on my skin, which is why I tend to buy one shade lower. It still looks really nice. Like I don't see it getting oilier or greasier or anything. Like my skin still looks pretty smooth. There's no oils or grease poking through um, in my T-zone yet, which is nice. I mean, it's only been four hours, but still it's worn away around my mouth because I just did a lip swatch video and that's why my lips are like stained. They are very pink, but I think it looks pretty good. Like it still looks just as fresh and as glowy as it did when I first applied it. It hasn't started breaking up on my skin yet and it still looks very intact and fresh and dewy. I'm going to be leaving for snowshoeing in about an hour. So we'll see how this looks by the end of snowshoeing. And yeah, let me just get you guys a little bit closer. Here's a nice close up shot for you. You can see how it's worn away around my mouth. Overall, I think it looks pretty good so far. So I will see you guys then in my next and final check-in. We'll see how it looks at the end of the day. Bye. Hey guys, so it's currently 
04, so basically 7 o'clock. So this foundation has been on my face for 10 hours. I actually think it looks pretty good. I went snowshoeing um, and my hair is like really knotted right now because it was rubbing against my coat. And I had a toque on, so I think my forehead might have might have rubbed off a bit on my forehead. But this is what it looks like after after 10 hours. It doesn't look oily or greasy on my skin. I don't think my skin has gotten especially oily. It actually looks very normal. Like it kind of looks a bit shiny on camera, but I'm looking in the mirror across from me and my skin does not look especially shiny. Very impressed by the stain power, which is what it should be because it said it would last for 24 hours. It hasn't broken up on my skin anywhere. It doesn't look like it's breaking down or fading at all. I did notice because I was wearing gloves when I was up on the mountain and I touched my face accidentally a couple times and the foundation actually did transfer onto the gloves. So it's not a transfer proof foundation at all. I've also noticed it's on my sweater. I don't know how to prevent this. If I'm wearing foundation, I always get it on sweaters or shirts that go up too high. I feel like it's not faded anywhere on my skin even though it did transfer which is good. I'm really impressed by this foundation so far. After 10 hours of wear I think this looks really good. I'm just gonna give you guys a slightly more zoomed up look. I really like it. I know it's faded away around my mouth. This whole area looks really weird right now. Definitely not any more shiny than it did at the four hour check-in which I think is important because it does look shiny right now on camera but not in person and not any more than it did after four hours yes i really like it i'm very excited for this foundation i want to keep trying it out like i said to just kind of finalize my thoughts about it but i think i might have found one of my favorite foundations i really hope it doesn't break me out or it doesn't look weird after a work day that wraps up this video thank you guys for watching and i guess i will see you in my next one bye